Welcome to Q&A software, the GST accounting software for your company. In this video, I will talk about Tax Code Mapping Wizard in Q&A Optimum. You can find the article by visiting the URL shown here. To begin, go to GST Tax Code Mapping Wizard. Please make sure you have read and understand the question on every screen of the wizard before continuing. Please take note that you are able to run this tax code mapping wizard from time to time if there is any changes to the supply of your business. This wizard only helps you to define the status of the tax code to either inactive or active. You can always come back to set the status of the tax code to inactive or active. If those tax codes are set to inactive, the system will remain the tax code but it will not display in the standard module. For example, Journal Entries, Receipt Voucher, Payment Voucher, Invoice, Receive Payment, Debit Note, Credit Note, and etc. It is advisable to set some of the tax code to be inactive if the users may not use it frequently and it will reduce human error. Please confirm if you want to continue the visit. Click Next to proceed or Cancel to exit. If you click Next, the first question that the visit will ask is that Is your company going to supply any zero-rated supply? Note that if your company is supplying from Malaysia to designated areas, for example Labuan, Tioman, Langkawi, it is considered zero-rated supply as well. There are some samples on the screen showing the zero-rated supplies. For example, agriculture products, foodstuff, livestock supplies, fruits, fresh seafood, exported goods and services, and more. To know more about zero-rated supply, Please visit the website from Royal Customs Malaysia by clicking on Click Here. And here is a zero rated supply order 2014. For instance, if your company is dealing with books, you can press on Ctrl F and then look for the word books. Now you'll be able to read more about this category and also determine the tariff code from here. If your answer is yes, ZRL code will be set to active, else it will be set to inactive. Click next to continue. The second question is, is your company going to supply exempted supply? To know more about exempted supply, you can always click the link to visit the website of Royal Customs Malaysia. Once again, you can search for the keyword that you are interested. For example, if a property developer wants to know more about lands, he can search for the word land. Here, we can read more about lands that fall under exempted supplies. The screen will also show you some samples on exempted supplies. For example, public transportation, land for residential, agriculture or general use, highway toll, accommodation for 28 days or more, private health and education, financial services and many more. If your answer is yes, the following codes will be set to active. The ES code, ES43, ESN43, TXE43, TXN43, TXRE. Click next to continue. The third question is, is your company dealing with any government project or supplying to government body that may grant GST related order or supplying any goods and services that is in the list of GST relief order? Click here for more information. For example, companies that are purchasing under the warehouse scheme for personal or official use of the Yang Dipa Tuan Agong, it will fall under relief supplies. If your answer is yes, the RS code will be set to active. And the fourth question is, is your company going to export goods to overseas? If your answer is yes, ZRE code will be set to active. The fifth question is, is your company supplying used car? and has gotten approval for implementing margin scheme? If your answer is yes, SRMS code will be set to active and click next to continue. The sixth question is, is your company going to use journal entry or other sales and purchase transaction to record any deemed supply transaction? 
for example, free gift to your customers. Q&E has already provided a user-friendly module to assist users to record the free gift transaction. It is advisable to select No. If your answer is Yes, DS code will be set to Active, else it will be set to Inactive. Number 7. Is your company going to use journal entry or other sales and purchase transaction to record any longer period adjustment, bad debt relief, bad debt recovery, and other input-output tax adjustment? QE has already provided a user-friendly module to assist users to record the longer period adjustment, bad debt relief, bad debt recovery, and it is advisable to select No. If your answer is Yes, AS and AP codes will be set to Active. Is your company supplying any taxable supply that will be disregarded as taxable supply? For example, your company has applied for group registration and is approved by Royal Customer Malaysia, or your company is supplying vouchers, stamps, or tokens. You may be supplying to the auctioner supplies within designated area and between designated area, example, Labuan, Tioman, or Langkawi. If your answer is yes, GS and GP codes will be set to active. Number 9. Is your company going to import goods from overseas? If your answer is yes, the following tax code will be set to active. IM0, IM, IS, TX, ATMS. And finally, the last question. Is your company going to import services from overseas? If your answer is yes, IM0, SVC and TX, SVC codes will be set to active. Finally, click Finish to save the settings. Bear in mind that if those text codes are set to inactive, the system will still remain the text code but it will not display in the standard modules. You can always come back and set the status of the text code to active or inactive. Thank you for watching.